Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node and React JS project, we will learn how we can update navigation bar. So, are we updating something from database in navigation bar? No. So, what we are doing that we are just improving our navigation bar. This is our navigation bar. Sometimes we call it nav bar only because we can navigate from one page to another page. That's why we call it navigation or nav bar. So, we will update uh, something here. So, what we are going to update first thing is that we will hide our product menus before user logged in. Uh, why? Because see, these menus are useless. Till now we are not logged in because if we are just trying to go on that uh, menus, we cannot go without logging because we are redirecting it to the registration page because this is mandatory to logged in or uh, signed up before just uh, accessing these pages, right? So we will hide them. First thing is that Second thing is that whenever user is logged in, we are not able to just guess that which user is actually logged in. So we will show logged in username here, right? And uh, third thing is uh, we will add a small logo to our uh, project. Why? Because in every project we will have a logo. And second thing, we will get you will get to know that how we can just add a image uh, in our project also. Maybe you already know that, but uh, maybe this is helpful for some beginners or fresher so that's why we will do that also after that we will test our complete flow of uh, uh, this project and guys if you want to just follow me on insta this is my instagram id so now let's start with the first point and hide these menus so so where should we go for that we have to go on the nav.js file so till now, uh, I just want to show you what actually happened whenever we will just logged in here or signed up here. Let me show you a live example. And password is uh, that one. So now uh, we just uh, hide that uh, sign up and logged in menus. And these menus are here. So what we will do here uh, before login, we will remove these whole menus. So what we need to do, we will check the auth and if uh, auth is true, that time we will show these menus, right? Like profile, add uh, product, add product and profile and upload product and all. Otherwise, we will show the sign up and logged in. So how we can do that? This is really simple. We can just apply this auth condition to the all menus. So I'm just putting here auth and uh, if auth is true then what we will do here we will show these menus like this uh, right else if uh, uh, this is not true what we can do here we can show these two menus which is uh, sign up and login and this menu is also important which is log out i will just add it here also now i am just closing this uh, ul here and i am starting a new i don't need these uh, uh, extra code so i'm just removing it and here i am adding a one more ul so let me add it here like this All right so now let's see what we are getting here you can see that the ui is completely destroyed but uh, logged in and sign up menus are still working so why this is this is not uh, looking fine the reason is because in the above nav bar we have a class name which is uh, nav ul this is responsible for uh, style so i am adding this uh, this style to the uh, second one ul uh, ul also and now this is looking fine but what i want that the sign up and login menu should be just on the right side like facebook and uh, you can say that uh, gmail and all right so how we can do that for that we we can just add one more class to app.css so let me add here dot nav right and i am putting here text aligned right right and now we can add this class to our second ul and now you can see that this is working fine so now let's try to log in 
with any user so i am just trying to log in with the peter at the rate test.com and now i am just adding here abc at the rate 1 2 3 and now all our uh, uh, menus that should be visible after logged in is uh, visible here that is perfectly fine so now the next point is uh, how we can show the username logged in username so this is really important because till now we are not able to, to see that which user is actually logged in so even we have a profile page for this but we will work on that uh, after some videos because before that we will just show a product list add product and update product then we will go for the profile till now we can show here a user name so you can see that logged in username so how we can show that we can get it from the local stories uh, you can see that let's go to the applications and here you can see that we have a username and email so as you know we are just accessing this uh, local storage user inside auth right so even you can just put the same some other name with also like uh, logged in user and user because till now this is auth uh, now if i'm just putting here auth like this uh, auth dot name so will is it visible the answer is no uh, but you will say that it should work because uh, whenever we will work with the uh, JavaScript or react if you want to access the property we will access with the dot and our key name but it will not be visible the reason is because till now this is in the uh, string format whenever we are storing data in local storage the data in the string format so first we have to convert in the uh, JSON format so what will I do for that I will simply add here json dot uh, parse not stringify this is already stringify right like this and now it should work logged in peter so i am just adding a bracket around it so that it will look like a little bit much better this is much fine so if i will just click over it you can see that user is logged out and uh, let's say i want to log in with the, any another user like say anil at the rate test.com abc at the rate one two three this is the password and this is working fine so this step is also working fine so next thing is how we can add a logo to our product so you can add any logo whatever you want here uh, the reason is, is to just adding a logo is maybe uh, most of you guys that already know that how we can uh, add the image in uh, uh, React, but maybe some beginners guys don't know so that I can show you how we can add the image. So just find any logo. I am just uh, adding the same logo, logo which have our channel, which is uh, that one, right? Even you can use any logo. There is a no restrictions and all. Uh, so this is the URL. So I am not putting this image locally because maybe you are using that product that time first i have to just push it on the github so that's why this is better that we use the online links so now let's uh, let me just simply use a img tag here src and here we have the url and now you will find that we have a warning it is actually saying that whenever you are using uh, image that time we have to use here alt tag so let me put here logo but for a moment this is the weird logo i just want to show you we don't have that much logo big logo so how we can fix it so let me add here some style so let me put here class name can be anything I am putting here logo and let's define it inside the app.css so let me put here logo and we will add this style in our uh, inspect element so let me just put this uh, logo width is 45 pixel 45 pixel right and uh, 
height we can also put the same 45 pixel and we can add border radius is let's say 50 percent it will make it round then uh, mm -mm. float right we can simply add here oh, we can just make it left and uh, just add me top mark let me add here margin top which is three pixel is fair enough and margin left is let's say 10 pixel or 20 pixel now this is much better and i am just copying this old css from here to let me paste it on our css file now this is working fine right so if we will just go to another menu it will still work if even it will work even if i just logged out so let me try to log in again and let's check the flow so let me just log in with the anil the rate test.com mm, password is uh, you know the already password yeah, abc at the rate one two three and uh, still everything is working fine so that's all for this video and guys uh, please support me by subscribe uh, my channel like this video and if you have feedback then please give it in the a comment section if you have any query you can still ask me in the comment box and you can also follow me on the instagram id this is my instagram account and thank you so much for watching this video